Welcome to Deadlock Decoded, a tutorial series where I'll be breaking down the fundamental mechanics that you need to know to increase your skill in Deadlock. Today we'll be talking about the different ways to earn souls and therefore power throughout a match. There are five key ways that you can earn souls in Deadlock. Lane troopers, jungle camps, enemy heroes, lane objectives, and map objectives. Let's start with the lane troopers. This is where the majority of your souls are going to come from in the early game. Every 25 seconds or so, a new wave of four troopers will spawn and travel down their corresponding zipline. Once they reach the end of their lane's zipline, they will drop to the ground and begin fighting enemies in front of them, with each wave being made up of three ranged troopers and one healer trooper. At the beginning of the game, regardless of which minion type you kill, they'll give you 75 souls, with the number of souls increasing throughout the game. For the first 10 minutes of a match, the souls are split into two parts. You get half the souls just for killing a trooper, while the other half is gained by securing the souls that spawn after killing the trooper. You can shoot or melee these floating souls to collect the other half, but be aware that enemies can shoot them as well to steal those souls from you. After a few seconds of these souls floating, they will automatically be given to the team that killed it. If you want to deny your enemy from even getting a chance to steal them, you can instantly collect all the souls by using your melee to get the last hit on a trooper. After the first 10 minutes of a match, getting souls from troopers changes slightly in that you don't get any for killing the trooper, and instead the floating soul carries 100% of the value. Meleeing the trooper still works the same as before though. Another place you can earn souls from is jungle camps. There are three types of camps in Deadlock, with each tier being progressively harder to kill while also providing more souls. One important thing to keep in mind is that jungle camps grant you unsecured souls. These souls are immediately added to your soul total and will be slowly secured over time. Be careful though, because if you die while holding unsecured souls, they will drop on the ground and can be picked up by enemies or allies. Tier 1 camps are the easiest to kill and will spawn 2 minutes into the game, and each Tier 1 jungle creep gives you 45 souls at base, plus additional souls the longer the game goes on. Across the map there are a total of 6 Tier 1 camps, with 2 in orange and blue lane, and only 1 in yellow and purple. These camps are indicated by the blue triangle on the map. The Tier 1 camps are easy enough to take that any hero should feel comfortable taking camps at any point in the game, and players should be using them to help build a soul lead over their opponent. Tier 2 camps are another great option for boosting your soul count, and are arguably the best bang for the buck due to their abundance around the map and the number of souls you receive from them. Unlike Tier 1 camps, Tier 2s spawn at 7 minutes into the game, with each Tier 2 jungle creep giving you 95 souls at base, plus additional souls the longer the game goes. Across the map, there are a total of 25 Tier 2 camps, with them being spread all over. You can find Tier 2 jungle camps by looking on the map for a blue triangle with a single line underneath. Heroes with area of effect abilities like Infernus, Seven, and Viscous should be able to take Tier 2 camps right around when they spawn, while others that are more single target focused may need to wait a few minutes to comfortably take these camps. Now we have the Tier 3 jungle camps, which are high health, high damage camps that provide a ton of souls for the effort. Each Tier 3 jungle creep will give you 240 souls at base, plus additional souls the longer the game goes. And similar to Tier 2 camps, Tier 3s spawn at the 7 minute mark of the game. Across the map there are a total of 8 Tier 3 camps with them being spread all over. You can find Tier 3 jungle camps by looking at the minimap and looking for a blue triangle with two lines underneath. Tier 3 camps are no joke and will take some time and health in order to take down. I'd recommend waiting until the 15 to 20 minute mark to try and consistently take these camps solo, or by having multiple members of your team come together to take one down. Another way that you can earn souls in the jungle are the soul machines spread across the map. By melee attacking these machines, you will earn 20 souls while taking 50 damage each hit. After hitting them with 5 charged or 10 normal melees, they will break and release around 200 souls which can be shot or meleeed to confirm them for yourself. Finally, the last way to earn souls while roaming the map are the various brown boxes strewn about. When you dash, punch, or shoot these boxes, they have a chance to contain some souls. The value of these souls increases with the game time. The third way you can earn souls in Deadlock is by killing enemy heroes. At the start of the game, if you kill a hero, you'll get about 150 souls, with that number increasing based on the game time, and if the enemy you kill has a bounty. Another way you can help your entire team earn souls is by killing the objectives in each lane. Each of the four colored lanes has three objectives. The first objective in each lane are the Tier 1 Guardians. Utilizing your troopers to take these down grants everyone on your team 275 souls and an ability point to upgrade their abilities. The second objective in each lane is a Tier 2 Walker. 
When your team manages to kill a walker, everyone will earn 750 souls and an ability point. Also remember to secure the souls from each objective after killing them. If you don't, your enemy has a chance to steal them away. Now, interestingly, the third objective in each lane is the Dual Guardians, but they don't offer any souls when killed. After you've pushed the lane all the way to the enemy's base, you'll be able to attack the two shrines. Each shrine grants your team 500 souls when killed. Lastly, the first phase of the Patron also grants your team 500 souls. Keep in mind that even if your team is behind, taking these objectives can be a huge benefit for everyone and can help bring you back into it. The last ways you'll be able to earn souls for your team is by utilizing the two different global objectives in the urn and mid boss. At 10 minutes into the game, an urn will spawn on either the far left or far right side of the map. This urn takes 30 seconds to reach the location where it can be picked up. Once you have the urn, you'll need to travel across the map to the location marked on your mini map. Once there, you'll be able to deposit the urn for a bunch of souls spread across your entire team, with a 25% boost in souls received for the person who delivered it and a new urn will spawn every five minutes until the end of the game. Now that we've gone over all the different ways to earn souls, I want to hear from you. Did you learn something from this video? Or what did you think I should break down next in this series? In either case, leave them down below in the comments. I greatly appreciate you for making it this far, and I'm excited to expand the Deadlock Decoded series. Until then, I wish you luck in your games, and I'll see you again soon.